Hello Internet, welcome back to our Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead tutorial series. Last episode we went, oh let me move my mic, hopefully that wasn't loud. Last episode we went over the sorting system in Cataclysm, hopefully that all made sense. I know I don't know a lot of the NPC stuff, um, but hopefully, you know, I, I haven't decided if we're going to touch on NPC stuff really thoroughly in this series or not. I don't play with them personally, and so that there is a lot of stuff in Cataclysm that I mostly don't do uh, that I'm not sure if we're going to cover or not. Like, I tend not to really take mutations, um, but I was going to cover those at least. NPCs are far and away something that I don't have any experience with. NPC faction camps, I just don't know those things. So either what's going to happen is we'll get pretty late into the game and then I will make a video on it after I've spent some time learning how to do it. Or alternatively, we just will not cover that. So sorry, uh, the videos are labeled as whatever is covered inside of them. So if you know in the future you want to look specifically for that, you can do so. In this episode, I was going to head back out uh, and, and loot a little bit more of the town. It's about 4 p.m. Uh, I really would prefer to wait until nighttime to head out um, just to show you what most of your scavenging will look like in the early game because you really should be primarily heading outside in the nighttime. But I think instead we're going to do a quick video about crouching uh, just because it's something that... Um, I mentioned in a previous episode, and then I had a comment saying, hey, you know, uh, apparently Vormithrax does not like crouching, so there's not really a comprehensive tutorial, I guess, from Vormithrax. I, I don't really know. Um, and so someone said, like, hey, why don't you make a video on crouching? So here's here's the thing. I, I also do not like crouching. I don't think that crouching is a very valuable mechanic. I think that a lot of people really, really wanted crouching in the game. And so it got developed and it was added to the game. When it first was added, it was incredibly overpowered and I hated it um, because I really hate things that circumvent the basic balance of the game. And when it was first implemented, there were a lot of um, exploits that people could do using crouching. And so I learned really just to hate the mechanic. Now it's been nerfed significantly since then, but it's still not something I use very often. But let's talk about it. So crouching, as we discussed, is toggled by changing our movement mode. This is the double quotes key. We can do it that way. Or alternatively, you can bind a specific key in your key bindings so that you can jump directly to crouch. Um, same is true for walking uh, and running. You can set independent keys so that you can jump right to a specific movement mode. So let's go into crouch mode. You'll see nothing changes in the world around us. Uh, everything is exactly as it was before. But if we move... You'll see up here it takes 219 moves. Now last I had checked it was actually four times slower. So apparently they have buffed that to where it's only two times slower. Or maybe I'm misremembering. I don't know. I did make a video. This is a good time to mention. I do this uh, series on the channel called Experimental Cataclysm. That's a show where we talk about the updates that have come to Cataclysm over the last couple of weeks. Uh, I do generally a bi-weekly show where we discuss new mechanics, new content, stuff like that. So if that's something that interests you, if you're ever like, man, I wish I could keep up with the development, uh, that's a great show for you to check out. It's called Experimental Cataclysm. It's on the channel, has its own playlist, uh, and it's great. Uh, and so when crouching came into the game, I did make a video talking about crouching. The problem is it does get slightly outdated as time progresses. So like I said, there have been some nerfs and apparently some buffs to this since then but that's a good place to go if you're keeping up with the game if you're playing a lot might as well come and swing by it's a little uh 10 to 25 minute show where we discuss uh new new stuff so definitely check that out so we have crouching nothing changes right we're slower um which uh, like nothing in the world around us changes toggling movement modes is a free action so we can toggle as much as we want it doesn't advance time or anything it slows us down. We move much more slowly. Our footsteps are quieter. This is something that I don't think is very significant. Obviously, running makes a, a fair bit of noise. But at walking, I never really notice things tracking by sound. In my experience, so there are a couple ways that enemies track you in Cataclysm. There's sight. Sight is by far the most potent. If an enemy can see you, they, they will come at you. It's usually that simple. Then we have sound and smell are the other two dominant um, means of detection, um, or only probably other sound <laughs> means of detection. 
Um, smell is, it depends. The longer you linger in an area, the more your scent builds up and the more likely enemies are to track you based on that. So that can be pretty significant depending on where you are and how long you've been there. Sound is probably the least impactful one of them all. Um, I have shot a shotgun maybe 10 tiles away from an enemy and had them completely ignore me. Now, I think it's been buffed since then uh, because like we saw in our previous episodes, they were tracking the gunshot sounds over to this area. So I do think that it has been a little bit buffed, but I still don't think that it's nearly on the same level as scent or sight are. So uh, sound is not super relevant. So having quieter footsteps doesn't really mean that much to me. Um, and then being twice as slow is pretty significant. Now the main draw of crouching, so like I said, nothing changes visually, but if we go into the building, and let's say we stand by this window over here, and now we crouch, it will actually significantly reduce our vision. You'll see we can no longer see out of this window. Um, and that's to represent that we're crouching, uh, like probably underneath the window, so to speak. We're, we're leaned up against the wall in a crouch position to where we're obscured from the outside world. When the game was uh, first given crouching, this did not happen. It's one of the reasons why it was so overpowered is that you could crouch and be completely hidden from enemies, but you could still see the enemies and it was really OP. So if we look at this window, we could do this by mousing over a tile. Uh, alternatively, we can use the X menu, which is what I usually do, and hover over that tile. And you'll see up here it says coverage 60%. As far as I know, 60% coverage is the minimum required in order to obscure your vision and insulate you from other enemies seeing you. So for the sake of... Uh, let's... I'm going to save and then we'll just reload our save. That way I don't have to kill the enemy. I'm going to go ahead and spawn a monster. Give me a zombie. Just a regular old zombie. We'll put the zombie out here. Let's crouch first, actually. Let's crouch and we'll spawn an enemy. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Uh, just, no, please give me a zombie. I just want a zombie. Spawn a zombie out here. So there's now a zombie out here. I can't see that zombie, and the zombie can't see me. Now, if I stand up, he can now see me. But if I crouch, he can't see me. It's pretty much that simple. This guy will likely still come over here um, for a couple reasons. One, he has spotted us, so he might just come this way anyway. Two, we've been here for not very long, but there's still a scent trail of where we walk. So he may get caught on our scent trail and come in and find us. Um, he might hear us if we move from place to place etc. So we're still at risk of detection. But let's say we were trying to sneak by here and we knew there were enemies out here. We could crouch and safely move through here without them seeing us and then stand back up uh, and walk away. So crouching is something that will let you hide uh, from enemies. Now every tile that you see has a coverage value. So if we look at the sofa, has a coverage of 60%. Again, this is the minimum required to obscure your vision. Walls have a 100% coverage. Zero, zero. Oh, unseen, we can't see. There, there we can see a wall. It's 100% coverage. Obviously, you can't see through a wall. The window frame still has a 60% coverage. This is 55, so you'll see it does not obscure our vision. We can actually see through these. Uh, if it were 5% higher, we would not be able to do that. Shelving also has like a 60 or 80%. It depends. I think bookcases are 80, yeah, 80%, 70% on the wood racks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So every tile, I think vehicles are also 80%. I'm not 100%. Let's. Um, we're already spawning things. We're just going to load our save. We're not going to take advantage of any of this. Let's go ahead and spawn. Oops. Yeah. Let's not. No. Yeah. I was going to say it's going to spawn it right on top of us, which was not what I intended. Uh, so they have 60% coverage. I thought it was higher. Uh, this has 50%. Why though? Oh, it's looking at the table. This is a car. I, I don't know why the coverage are different. Um, so I think it may be looking at the actual floor rather than the vehicle. Um, I had been told previously that vehicles, uh, were enough coverage to hide behind. So if we crouch, yeah, we can't see through the vehicle. Um, 
So pretty straightforward as far as things go. Again, you move much more slowly, so it's really not beneficial to use this in a combat situation or in a situation where you think you may be getting into combat. Um, crouching is not very valuable in that situation. Uh, you can toggle movement modes freely, so there's really no reason not to use it. You know, if we know there's a horde out here and we're trying to clear this house, we can just crouch as we move up to the windows and close the blinds. Things like that, but honestly, I never ever use it. I know it has value. I know you can use it to do different things. I just don't use crouching. Um, again, it was just OP when you started it out. There was an exploit for a long time where you could just stand in a cardboard box um, because the cardboard box would give you um, concealment, basically. And then you could melee attack turrets, and turrets would be, be able to do nothing to you. And it was just an exploit that everyone used. And I would go on Discord every day, and there would be people like, hey, how do I kill a turret? And everyone would say, just get in a box and kill it. Uh, because you don't actually have to try or play the game the way it's intended to be played. You can just cheat. And uh, that really rubbed me the wrong way, and I got really sick of hearing people over and over and over say, just get in a box, just get in a box, it's fine. So that was like a huge turnoff for me from the crouching system. Um, and then, yeah, so that's really all that you need to know. Uh, nope, uh, teleport short range, please. That's really all you need to know is that everything has a different cover value. So here, at chain link fence is zero, barbed wire is zero. Uh, I don't know what this is, a clothesline, I guess. Rotary clothesline, rotary clothes dryer line. That's interesting. Uh, also 0%, tree stump. 35%, you know, tree, 80% makes sense that it would be, it's opaque and it's pretty tall. You know, so everything has a different value. You'll have to look at specific things to know what their value is. In general, windows have a lot. It's really weird that a glass wall has 90% coverage. That should probably be changed. Um, you'll see the glass door has 0%, which makes sense because it's a, it's a glass door. But the uh, full glass wall should not be 90% coverage. I guarantee that is a oversight so that's a bit disappointing um, but everything has a coverage value um, and you can use that to your advantage I'm not sure if it's less than 60% I don't know what determines how visible you are I don't know if it's a flat yes or no or if 38% uh, like let's say we have a, an item with 50% coverage it's not enough to obscure our vision or the enemy necessarily but is there like a, a like a 40 percent chance that we won't be seen is it less than that is it more than that is it still is it an all or nothing you're either hidden or you're not i don't know how that works never play with it i don't really see a point in it i do understand why people want stealth in the game the problem with stealth in a game like cataclysm is that we don't have directional faces so if we are just out here walking around, the zombie, just like us, we see in all directions at all times. There's no cone of vision like Project Zomboid where we're facing one particular direction or the other. We don't have that. And because we don't have that, stealth just cannot exist. Um, because like people always talk about stealth and they're like, yeah, I want to stealth kill zombies. And it's like, that's why I wanted crouching is so I can stealth kill zombies. Yeah, that has nothing to do with it. Being able to crouch... The enemies still see you. You can't stand next to an enemy and have them not see you. They literally will always see you. Even enemies that are blind will still see you when you're one tile away. They will still begin to attack you. They might not actually quote unquote see you, um, but they still will to it. They will attack you. So it's like there's no stealth in Cataclysm. Crouching doesn't really fit for me personally unless I'm able to dis disable enemies from crouch like Dishonored or Thief or any stealth game, my instinct is always sneak up, disable the enemy, hide their body, move on. In Cataclysm, you don't have that. You hide from the enemy, but you can't engage the enemy safely from stealth, and so it doesn't really appeal to me. Hopefully that all makes sense. Um, and that's really as far as I'm willing to talk about crouching because I, I just don't know the mechanic very well. So I just wanted to make an, a video about it so that I could let you know, hey, this thing exists. Hey, you can learn to use this, um, but it's really not something that I am personally interested in using, and it's something that I don't know well enough to really relay a ton of information to you. But that is the gist of it. That is the basics, um, and hopefully that equips you to, to take care of yourself in the future. 
So for now, short episode, uh, I know, but that's probably going to do it. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you did, maybe consider liking, commenting, or subscribing. I really like getting comments. really like getting likes. really, really, really like when people subscribe. I'll be back with more Cataclysm tutorial content in the near future. I'll see you next time.